Twisha Christian here. I'm here with some breaking news. Now, this article, there's an article, some articles I'm going to show you that came out a few days ago, and it's going to prove exactly what I've been telling you. And if you guys haven't seen the video, please go back and watch the video that Dinar will be backed by gold, and gold backed, gold backed IDQ past proves future. All right, now the past proves the future, um, which goes into the Central Bank of Iraq and their gold buying spree. And I show some articles uh, what was getting ready to happen. They were buying gold, and then they had to delay the RV or the RI or you know whatever that they were planning on doing at that time. All right, so you guys really need to check that video out. So, but before we get in, but before we get into it, uh, this is the Patreon, and I appreciate everybody's support. I'm only asking for a dollar. This is going to help me as we as we build it up uh, for me to go ahead and be able to make more videos. You could donate. It's just a dollar a month, or you could donate five, ten, or you could just go to my PayPal and send a donation. All right, and uh, we're going to be launching uh, here hopefully soon our Gregory Legends series, and you can see the picture here, and it deals with the legends of giants. So let's go ahead and get into what getting ready to discuss okay so as I've already showed you guys in the previous videos the gold buying being done by the central bank as you can see here it's gone up all right and if you start looking at other countries you're gonna see that they all were doing the exact same thing there's a lot of countries a lot of central banks for buying gold in previous in this video I showed you central banks are stashing gold and dumping treasuries all right, and I showed this article to you before, and all this does is just deal with central banks buying gold. China's buying gold, Russia's buying gold, all their major economies are buying gold. They're all buying gold. And what was the purpose for this? And I think they were all leading towards a certain goal, and that was to buy as much gold as they can to what? Support their monetary policy. I'm getting ready to get into the article right here. All right, now this is the article that I was referring to that to me, this is big breaking news. Okay, this came out Thursday, July 11th. That was three days ago. And it says here, the title of the article, Gold to be Supported by Monetary Policy, Comma, Central Bank Buying. That's from the, this is from the World Gold Council. All right, the World Gold Council looks for gold prices to remain strong this year due to expectations for softer monetary policy and continued central bank buying. Further, much of the world's bond yields are either negative or else real yields adjusted for inflation are below 1%, not offering investors much return in this market, the council said in an Outlook report released Thursday. Gold has already a six-year high in 2019, topping at $1,438 an ounce in June. The metal was trading at $1,414 as of 8.57 a.m., down $4.20 for the day so far. During the next... Six to 12 months, the WGC said, gold investment demand is likely to be underpinned by the financial market uncertainty and accommodative monetary policy. Weaker economic growth may soften gold consumer demand near term, but structure economic reforms in India and China will likely to support long-term demand. All right, so basically what they're saying here is, it says here that the gold investment demand is likely to be the underpin means supported, supported by financial market uncertainty and accommodative monetary policy. Now, I've already shown you articles in the last two videos. Basically, we're saying that all of the central banks, they're buying gold to support their currency. Iraq was doing it to support their currency. I showed you guys the article in the last two videos. They were buying gold to support it. So they're just not going to be backed by oil or minerals or any other kind of metals. The only thing that they're talking about as far as they want their currency backed by gold. All right. And you can see from the articles that I have showed you before in the last couple of videos that all these central banks are buying, they're buying, they're buying. Why are they buying? Because they already know. And I've showed you in the other videos, the United States is getting ready to go to a gold-backed dollar. So when they go to the gold-backed dollar, if these other countries don't come along, if they don't go with the plan, their currencies are going to be destroyed. Their markets are going to hurt. 
And those are the type of markets that are, that are going to crash. Now, of course, the mainstream media has told you that a gold-backed dollar, uh, gold dollar is the worst thing, but they used to do it. And now it seems like that now it is that all these central banks of all these countries are going to a gold-backed currency, right? And these in the central banks, it says here that accommodative monetary policy, which means that they are accommodating, they're unrestricting their policy so that they can use gold as a way to back their currency. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and skip down here. It says that the World Gold Council pointed out that expectations for global monetary policy have shifted by 180 degrees. So they have did a complete turnaround. Okay, and the global monetary policy wasn't a currency backed by gold. Now they're all turning around and they're all doing it. And they actually have been doing it. Less than a year ago, both Federal Reserve Board members and U.S. investors expect the interest rates to continue to increase at the very least through 2019. By December, the most likely outcome was for the Fed to remain on hold. Now the market expects the Fed to cut rates two to three times before the end of the year. The European Central Bank and the Bank of Japan are also ex expected to be accommodative. Okay. Now I've already showed you all the in the last two videos the different uh, the different central or the different uh, countries that are just buying and buying and buying and buying gold. So what I'm trying to say here is is that and I've, I've like I said I've showed you in the articles what Trump was going to do. I've showed you what Iraq was going to do. So it's obvious. That there is something that has been going on in the background for some time that relates to gold being used as a country's monetary policy. Now, let me go ahead and show you something else here. World Gold Council. Federal Reserve Central Bank Rate Cuts to Drive Gold Investment in H2. All right. So I showed this uh, article before in the last two videos. It just says, watch the feds. Signs of increasingly do dovish monetary policy from central banks across the globe has been a significant driver of the bullion of late classic hedge against inflationary threats. And the council has predicted that the prospect of lower interest rates should support gold investment demand in the latter half of 2019. WGC comments that global monetary policy has shifted by 180 degrees and has placed particular emphasis on the evolving attitudes of the Federal Reserve in that period. Expectations of additional high rate hikes through 2019 a year ago would have given way to predictions of a benchmark rates remaining frozen in December. And now the market is anticipating two or possibly three rate cuts by the end of the year. So here we go again. And like I told you guys, this thing is pushing towards one goal. And that's for all the central banks the central banking system and I've already told you that the people who are have been holding up the dinar they've been holding up uh, you, the investment in not just the uh, not just in Iraq but for any of the currencies that you guys currently have and I showed you in that video that the people who own the central banking system the people that run the central banking system they are going down and they actually have been going down behind the scenes because I'm going to tell you something, if, if they definitely didn't want this system, because if they wanted the system back, they would have put it back in a long time ago. And the video that I showed you, uh, dealing with uh, some of the things that have been in the news, I showed you in this video, the best news concerning the dinar and the global reset. All right. So those people, they're being removed and they have, and some of them have been removed. And let me tell you something, folks, this is happening all the banks all the central banks the ones that can are going gold it is not going to be something that's and this is going to be something i believe now that when all this happens they're all going to do it at once at least the united states iraq russia china and other countries and there is going to be some countries that are left behind because they're in so much turmoil but the central banking system itself is going down. And you're going to see changes here in the near future about the, about central, about the current central banking system. Because that current central banking system has put this country, has put this world trillions of dollars of debt. We're looking at $244 trillion. 
Some of you out there, you already, you've already invested in gold, right? So just keep holding on. I expect it to go way up. So this is what you need to do. You need to follow the gold. You need to follow the gold. And you're going to see, you're going to start seeing changes. You're going to start seeing an, it's announcements. And I'm going to try to do my best to keep watch of that. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a situation where they're going to have like a date. They're going to announce a date when all these changes are going to take place. But when I look back at Kim Clement's, um, when I look back at Kim Clement's prophecy, it was nothing, 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 and then something, right? Then boom. So I believe it could be something that that is going to just happen overnight. But there are going to be signs and there are going to be indicators. There's going to be news articles just like I just showed you just now. That is a sign that this is getting ready to happen. Now, I don't know when it's going to happen. Now, this is supposed to be a big week this week. There's going to be so much news out there, and it's relating to this video here. So if you guys haven't seen it, at the end of this video, uh, it, should, it should pop up. But also, too, don't forget to check out these other two videos as well. And I'm sorry about the volume. Um, it's just the system that I'm currently working with, and I'm doing my best to make sure that it that it sounds good enough for you guys. Sometimes it's very loud on my end, but by the time I upload it, the sound gets horrible. And I'm just going to point out a, a really quick article, and this is something that I missed. All right, Erogan fires central bank head as desperation grows. Right. The Turkish president is getting desperate. Not only does he have a rival for the first time in many years after his party lost elections in Istanbul, but the central bank has been trying to operate independently as it should. Of course, that's what they say. But Erogan is having, isn't having that. On Saturday, he fired the economy's central bank governor over the same policy differences that Trump threatening to replace the head of the U.S. Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. Well, what does Jerome Powell think, right? He just fired this guy for the same reasons that Trump is, um, that President of the United States is trying to do. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to pull up the article or anything like that. Powell explains why return to the gold standard would be damaging. All right. So we know now, folks, we know now that this is happening. It's been happening behind the scenes. Countries have been doing it. Presidents are firing uh, their central bank leaders. And I think, I think a lot of leaders are just getting tired of the system as well. Op, they've always operated independently. And I think to a certain extent that they should, but not to the point to where somebody can go in and totally wreck somebody's economy just because they don't agree with the current government or the current president or whatever the case is. So, folks, this is what you want to do is just... You know, and I will try to bring the news to you as much as I can concerning this. But I think one day, just like I've had uh, many people have said in their dreams, or whether it's the prophecies, uh, but even this, I think this is. I think one day we're just going to wake up, and it's, and it's going to happen. And yes, we're going to have to exchange any currencies that you have. I don't know if they're going to give how much time they're going to give uh, to exchange any of these currencies. I don't think it's going to be a long period of time, but I think we're going to wake up and Iraq is going to be backed by gold. It's already, it already should be backed by its current economy with oil and everything else, but you know what? The rate hasn't moved at all whatsoever. I mean, it's actually gone down despite record number of oil production. Currency rates have gone down. This is a system. You know, a lot of people talk about capitalism. Capitalism is the, is not the enemy. It's the people that have driven the global debt to two hundred and forty four trillion dollars. It's not just government debt. It's also private debt, student loans, whatever the case. Because of their policies, that is where the world economy is at, and that's why you have to support these people. Anybody who, any president, whether whatever, whatever country that you live in. You know, that's why you got to support uh, politicians that support the gold standard. You know, you, you have all these different beliefs about, oh, they, you know, this, this person is against this, so I support them. This person is against that, whatever the case. No, one of the things that you have to do is make sure that they, that, that they support a return to gold. 
and I've showed you this with the, uh, with the Central Bank of Iraq said and what they plan on doing within within the five year period. And we're appro and we're approaching that now. Now, of course, it could be longer than the five years, but you just we just have to follow the gold, watch gold prices, watch the news articles, and we're, we're going to go and we're going to go from there. Like I said, folks, gold is going to be a part of the new central banking system. Well, thank you guys for listening. Uh, don't forget uh, the links should be showing up for Patreon. If you're building this up, I can keep uh, making videos and show you guys things that maybe other people have already. You know, some of these people have been saying this, but they've been saying that the U.S. economy, that the dollar is going to crash and all this and all that. No, it's going to change to a gold-backed dollar. I wouldn't be surprised if they're already printing new U.S. dollars, a new gold-backed dollar where it doesn't say that this is a promissory note right because if you're going to change a system you are going to have to change the money because your dollar bill says that this is a promissory note well the new system is going to say that this is a gold backed dollar so yeah in a way the dollar will be destroyed but it's not it's just going to be replaced the old US dollar is going to be replaced with a new dollar. When is this going to happen? We don't know. You just have to keep watch. I told you guys to dig in, wait for, for all this stuff to come out, and you're going to hear about the people that are in charge, that have been in charge of this banking system. A lot of these people, they're going down, they're going away, and some of them are even going to jail. Twisted Christian, thanks for listening. Have a good night.